Friends, I'm Pastor Milton R. Hawkins, pastor of Temple of Deliverance, Church of God in Christ, 369 G.E. Patterson Avenue in the beautiful city of Memphis, Tennessee. Let me say happy Resurrection Sunday, happy Easter to each and every one of you. Today we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Without Him being raised from the dead, you and I could not be saved. And so I'm thankful today that Jesus Christ got up from the grave and I too have gotten up out of my sinful condition and now I live for Him. Well, we worship the Lord each Sunday morning here at 7.45 a.m. And let me tell you, the 7.45 service is growing, growing, growing people are coming and they're excited about our early morning worship, I want you to be a part of it. Also at 11 o'clock we worship the Lord here and it's not too late now for you to come and meet us for the 11 o'clock worship celebration. And then Sunday nights we meet again 7 o'clock p.m. Tuesday night is our night of deliverance where we take time to teach the Word of God with life-changing application. You don't want to miss this service. Well again we are excited Resurrection Sunday. Today's telecast is our telecast on the glorious resurrection of Jesus Christ. I'm preaching out of the book of St. John. The evidence says that Jesus is alive. Let me tell you in a court of law, you won't win a case unless you have evidence. Well, we have the evidence that Jesus is alive. He's living in us. He's living in you. Those of you who know him as your personal Lord and Savior, the evidence says he is alive. I don't have to listen to anybody else tell me he's alive. I know that he's alive for myself because I have experienced his resurrection power. Let's go in to today's telecast. Holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord. Oh, oh, holy, holy. Somebody worship. Holy, holy, holy the Lord, and we cry, holy. cry oh, holy is the Lord oh, we lift our hands and cry It's 
it's important to have evidence. Uh, no other event in history that is more compelling and more exciting than the resurrection of Jesus Christ. It is the greatest story ever told and it is a story that never grows old. The account is an accurate account of truth and nowadays you got to be so concerned with what you hear is it truth or not but this is an accurate account of truth of how good God really is he sees man in a fallen state but loves him so much that he provides for man a remedy Jesus was one that knew his calling knew his purpose in life he would not let the doubters the skeptics the unbelievers the critics he wouldn't let anyone keep him from completing his divine assignment given him by the Lord and I think sometimes we need to just get those little nuggets that we see in Scripture and don't allow anything or anybody to stop us from our God-given assignments. See, we live in an age when the burden of proof must be validated. In the courts of law, there are parties debating and arguing in an attempt to prove a point, hoping to sway the jury. And every piece of evidence must have a thorough examination. Uh, evidence is so important. Uh, I mean, in, in the broadest sense, it is anything that can be used to determine or demonstrate the truth of an assertion. The term has specialized meanings and when used to specify different fields such as policy and scientific research, criminal investigations and legal discourse evidence must be provided when you speak of science in scientific research evidence is accumulated through observation of phenomena that occurs in the natural world or which is created as an experiment in a laboratory when you speak of evidence in criminal investigations it attempts to prove an abstract or a hypothetical point that evidence is gathered to attempt to determine who is responsible for a criminal act. And then even evidence in law must have the presentation of facts that tend to prove or disapprove the point at issue. Look at somebody say it's very important to have evidence. But unfortunately, even in the courts of law today, that many individuals do not get a fair shake, sometimes due to the lack of evidence. And this is the case concerning Jesus.